So I'm going to be building a turbine from the aluminum sheet that I've cut with the cutter press. Um, these are the main material for it. Other than that, there's two 26 inch bike wheels, nuts, bolts and rivets. The only non-standard bit of kit I'll be using is a bit of aluminium extrusion. This is for bending the metal and like a straight edge. Recently I got myself one of these, which is a rivet gun that goes into a drill, um, which has the obvious advantage of being a power tool now. I have modified it slightly just so that I can use it one-handed, because previously normally you have to use it like that. So I just added a bit of metal and attached that to the body of the drill. So now it's better. Uh, I'm going to see how long this takes me. I'm going to do all six veins and attach them to the wheel with the new tensile structure kind of design with some bits of string which I'm thinking is going, to, is going to increase the strength of the turbine quite a lot. That's it.
that's the build of the turbine. This is now going to go up on the roof for further testing. But as you can see, it's pretty quick to, to build. Everything here cost me about £13, which is about $18 US. So this whole thing weighs about four and a half kilo. Uh, each vein weighs about 750 grams. This is just 0.3 millimeter aluminium. An earlier version of this turbine survived at 105 km an hour winds. It was a lot, this one's a lot stronger. So if it doesn't survive 120 km an hour, then I'm going to want to know why. Uh, and hopefully, I'm hoping for about 500 watts in a 50k wind. Uh, from it, but that remains to be seen, um, and hoping for about 30% um, mechanical efficiency. Uh, so now I'm going to put it up on the roof, put it up on a, on a pole, and start tagging, like testing apparatus onto it, like uh, I want to measure wind speed, volts, amps, um, pretty much just that, like with some kind of variable load. Uh, start looking at easy ways to charge batteries.